Hey folks, Jay Barino here, continuing Warcraft Orcs and Humans. It's a Warcraft 1 remake created by Lord Paranol II. We're heading into Chapter 10 Training Grounds. This is another micro map, so there is a timer. I've uh, checked out the map, and I do have a bit of a plan formulated that we'll talk about when we, when we pause and read the objectives at the beginning. Okay, hard difficulty. and complete domination of this race a simple matter. Your spies have gathered intelligence that points to an encampment near the center of the human lands where their knights and soldiers are set to trade. Although they will not be expecting an attack, they should prove a good fight. The destruction of this site would greatly weaken their forces and etch your position as war chief in stone. None shall survive. Okay, so we're going to start with a pretty large Direct. force. We have to destroy that human base. Our warlocks are arguably the most important part of this composition, along with the catapults. Let's hotkey those separately. Meanwhile, we've got uh, just a bunch of Master. throwaway units here, like grunts and, and raiders, mm -hmm. and then our spearmen, which are still pretty important. The Necrolite spell Unholy Armor is not available. So I think this would have been available last mission, but we didn't build a temple or Necrolites at all. But it's kind of their third tier spell. You can make any unit invulnerable for 10 seconds at the cost of half of its life. So that's pretty interesting. And, well, we can't use it this map. Maybe we will in the future. All right, let's check these out. Before the storm, your arrival into the greenfields of Stormwind's training camps has not gone unnoticed. The local humans have called for help, and Stormwind answered. A large army is moving from the capital and will arrive shortly. You have to deploy your troops carefully despite the shortage of time. You cannot afford to strike boldly as any mistake could mean certain defeat. I mean, you could say that for any of the maps in this campaign, especially past Mission 6, because one enemy catapult shot can result in you having to reload, killing all your casters, or killing three catapults at once. Something crazy like that. Alrighty. Turning the tide. Kill ten enemy units using water elementals. Show your enemies that they're not the only ones capable of controlling their own summons. Turn their most powerful creations against them. So how wrong I was when I talked about control magic last mission, saying, like, why would I want to take control of scorpions? You don't. You want to take control of water elementals, which are, like, a second-tier, super-strong summonable unit by conjurers. We eventually can summon demons, not this mission. Presumably next mission, I'm really not sure. And, uh, that's kind of the, the, our comparable unit summon to water elementals. Uh, water elementals have a ton of health, though, so it does cost a lot of mana to control them, because control magic, the cost of it, the mana cost of it is based on the amount of health that the unit has. So uh, we do need to have near full health or full mana on our on our warlocks to take control of them. So the idea is the, the enemy base is in the upper right, and they'd like to send, just like the previous maps, they sum send summons at you constantly, and in this, it's going to be water elementals. So the first group they send, we're going to take control of and then just run across the bridge and try to finish that optional objective really fast. I'm probably not going to summon spiders, because I think <laughs> by summoning spiders... Um, that's mana that we're going to need for control magic against the huge amount of water elementals that, get are, that are getting summoned this mission. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and the first thing I'm going to do is quick save. Let's try it. Yes, Let's have my Necrolites you. follow my Warlocks, and then keep oh, the Warlocks on hold position kind of in the back. We do need some damage to yeah. go down on the, uh, the water elementals before we can take control of them. Let's see. So let's wait. I'm just going to wait, because I need to get to full mana on my Warlocks anyway. They're almost there. And then as the uh, the Water Elementals come in, we'll take control of them. The, the first round of them, basically. We can just sort of move up. There we go. Take control. Okay, that's good. Warlocks keep moving up. There should be... I mean, on my practice round, they sent like five. So let's just take control of all of these initial ones. You get out of there. You get out of there. There we go, and now we have all four. So I'm just going to take... The, I'm going to quick save because I got all four, and I'm just going to send them all in at once. Yes. Warlock's coming over here in hold position. Let's Master. move everybody up near the bridge that we're going to be crossing oh, later, including the catapults. Yes. Okay, so this is all counting towards our optional objective, which is wonderful. What do you want? Catapults, though, are an excellent an excellent counter to, to these summons. Let's try to keep these separated so that one catapult shot doesn't just ruin our day. Doesn't seem to be a catapult over here. There's, there it is, and there's, there's half of our summons gone already. And there's two catapults over here actually. Let's see if we can maybe kill one of these. 
And we, okay, well, quick save now. We got the bonus objective and we killed a catapult. Yes. That's really, really good. And we got raiders now have the ability critical strike. Very, very good. Let's get our warlocks up here because we're gonna need them to kill or to take control of even more. Oh, that sucked. Let's see if we can do this with just one, one grunt. Sort of block him in. There we go. And then you guys all back up. I'm gonna wait for the, there's gonna be another wave of water elementals. Come on, grunt. How can I help? Well, nope. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna take a, a save with that with just four spearmen getting killed. Okay. Need something. Yes, critical strike. 5% chance to do two times more damage. Yeah. That's pretty pathetic, but We're you know what? Attack. Whatever. Huh? Okay. Yes. You all back up. Raider Say dodges. Raider will do a little more damage to this at least. You what guys you all want? back up. Yes. Get the raider or get the warlocks up here to control magic when necessary. We have one skeleton we can lead the way with it. Looks like it's still got one shot off. I don't know how many things it killed, so frankly, I'm just gonna keep reloading this because I wanna I had such a good start. We already have the, the bonus objective done that this is the save we will definitely be using. Uh -huh. mm. Which is wonderful. Okay, so Master? grunts uh -huh. all move We're back. Say the word. You get up here, buddy. Yes. Okay, and then you all move Swing. back. And okay, and we've got <laughs> got him near perfectly blocked this time. Come on, please just kill him this time before he shoots. My units are all moved back. There we go. That's what we needed. So the first thing we're going to do is start moving... What's coming here? Just footmen. Okay, so let's lead with the grunts, move on up across the map, get the spearmen in there as well, and then move my casters up. And then the raiders as well. Let's quick save because this seems pretty good. Here comes another water elemental, so we need our casters up here so we can take control of these. Because this is just going to annihilate all of my other units as they try to cross this bridge. So everybody back up. Try to take him. Try to take him. Wow, there's so many. Just try to take all of these. Okay, and now everybody go. Now that we've got these summons, I'm going to quick save again because I'm in pretty good shape. I'm going to get my casters across the bridge, including the necrolites. Just come over here and then hold position. Meanwhile, let's start moving across with everybody else. I expect there to be more catapults here. Let's just duck and move, basically. Distract the shots of the catapults. Raiders, get on top of him. It's the only thing I can do is just keep moving like that. I don't know why there's a crossbowman back here. Let's move across with everybody else. I still have two water elementals out, which is really, really good. I see another... I see two more catapults, actually. Let's move back. Try to move my catapults across the bridge here. Need something. Draw the other units out, and we just need to distract catapult shots, basically. That's the key to this, I think, is just distract the catapult shots. Let's quick save now. Losing a lot of stuff to that. I get in there. That's fine. Okay, everybody back up. Let's move up with the... I was going to say move up with the Warlocks, but I don't think so. Move up with the Necrolites and summon a bunch of Skeletons. Okay. All this stuff is making its way across the bridge, finally. And let's let's move on in. Specifically the Catapults. Attack the Barracks that they just rebuilt. Did I get any Skeletons? The, the, uh, the dead bodies must have despawned. As the shadow. Right, give me some give me some skeletons. There we go. And you guys attack here, spread out my catapults, because I'm expecting more, honestly. Okay, more water elementals means back up. Try to take control. My catapults are probably gonna kill these, but it's worth it's worth it. Okay, oh warlocks don't. Warlocks really, really like doing that. Let's see if we can kill their catapults here. The rest is dead. Got this other catapult back here. Let's see if we can juke the shot here. Fire once. Nope, didn't quite get it. We gotta try this again. There we go. Okay. And here comes another water elemental that we should be able to take control of, if not kill with catapults. And we're gonna run out of time here, so now we gotta go. Warlocks, stay back. Keep summoning skeletons if possible. You guys gotta get in here, and we just we gotta finish this now. Catapults, as you can see, yes. super effective against water elementals. I would like to find the, the other... I would like to find the other barracks where these units are coming from. That's step number two. And let's not kill stuff with our own, with our own catapults. 
Oh god. Oh, did you see that? That one catapult had one big shot. It's gonna- Oh god, we're so dead. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, why can't I see it in the fog of war? I was looking to shoot it with all my catapults. Instead, I got a one really good shot on mine. So, just like the thing- Just like the thing is said, like, Hey, don't- Don't fuck this up. One catapult. The, you know, the smallest thing will ruin your day. And it's, you know, it's not lying. Let's move these up in advance, though, and try to get some skeletons out in advance. We're under attack! The restless dead Okay, now it's gone. Yes, Chieftain. Okay, let's start moving up with our catapults now. Get in there. Get in there. And get in there. Good work, catapults, for killing our own stuff. Congratulations. Destroy the barracks. Warlocks move on up. Necrolites are doing good. We're gonna move you up and put you on hold position. Keep these grunts back here. This is fine. And then what do we have? More skeletons. Just attack. Okay, got another water elemental. That's good. The more of these that we can get, the better. I also have a lot of mana on them, so we can take control of these. A big key of this is taking control of these without losing them to, uh... To our own catapults in the meantime. All right, this I think is a lot better. We got more skeletons to take to take some shots. Let's split our catapults up this time. You guys just stay back, so I don't risk losing you. Attack over here. All right, one catap one enemy catapult down at the cost of some of our skeletons. That's fine. Knight goes down. Okay, destroy the stables, I guess? Let's just keep our warlocks near full mana. I think we've definitely got it this time. Everything just... The stars kind of needed to align, and it was fine. Okay, oh, there's the other barracks. Just destroy this so that there are no more catapults. And keep the warlocks close to the catapults so that they don't accidentally get killed by them. Those conjurers, the fact, you know, we have to destroy their tower as well so we don't get any more conjurers out. Again, pretty sure we've won this time. We didn't lose any catapults. We only lost one warlock. Um, you know, there's a huge potential to lose, that's for sure. Okay. Well, this attempt went a lot better, as you can tell. Let's just lead with only one catapult this time, just in case. Hit the town hall. Actually, catapults, just hit the town hall. Warlocks, just clump up and stay on hold position. Necromancers as well. There still might be one other catapult on this map that we have to be wary of. Really using those skeletons. Skeletons, surprisingly helpful. I, I kind of consider them obsolete, but they are actually quite good. Meanwhile, let's take some, let's quick save and take some units and go over to the left, where there are some units out here. We saw in the, uh, in the opening cutscene that there's random units that sit over here. Yeah, getting rid of those conjurers before they can summon even more. That one chose to summon more scorpions, interestingly enough. Conjurer just sitting up here. Killed some of my casters because he summoned a water elemental. Hey, and we did it. So we didn't have to destroy everything. I noticed there's still some enemy units over on the left. Interesting. Well, hey, we did it. It took, what, two attempts? Three attempts? Three attempts total? Maybe four. I don't even remember. It's kind of a blur, but the, the combat is so fast. It's faster than StarCraft, I think. Honestly, it, it really is. It, it happens faster than even StarCraft does. Everything can just go wrong or right in an instant. Just the smallest, smallest change can result in victory or defeat, and uh, and that's why we're we're quick saving so much because these mis these missions aren't they they definitely aren't easy, but they're challenging in a different kind of way. They're not they're not hard in like a I don't know how to put this. It's not that you need to be strategically skilled, but you do need to be mechanically skilled to be able to, like, just take a unit and run around and distract catapult shots. As long as you have that knowledge, I guess that's some strategic skill as well, but it's it's hard in a different way. That's the only way I can really say it uh, right now without sounding like a fool, I suppose. But overall, it's great. I'd, I'd recommend this campaign to folks who want to try it, especially folks who played Warcraft 1 and want to re-experience it, because I think the creator's done a good job at, at recreating the frustration of the original game. Also, I almost think that being able to control more than more than four units at a time does actually make it harder, because what you, what I, what you end up doing is selecting all your units in, in a cluster of 12, and if you attack with them, they'll clump up more, and then one catapult, one enemy catapult shot is more devastating when it hits all those units instead of just, instead of just maybe a max of four, which you, you would have been moving at, at one time in the original game. Quite interesting when you think of it that way. Overall, pretty fun. Looking forward to the next mission, and I'll see you then. Bye now.